and welcome back. I want to know, do you use read alouds in your math block? Because if you aren't, you really should. There are so many great books out there that relate to mathematical concepts that can keep your students actively engaged and entertained during their math lesson. I'm really excited. Today I'm going to be sharing four of my favorite read alouds that you can use when you are teaching fractions. Let's dive in. Hey y'all, if you're new around here, my name is Marcy Bernithi and I am the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com where I have a huge passion for not only helping teachers improve their mathematical instruction, but by helping students fall in love with math all over again. And one of the ways that we can do that is by incorporating read alouds into our math block. So today I'm gonna to be sharing four of my favorite books for fractions. So the first book that I am gonna share is called Give Me Half by Stuart J. Murphy. He is probably my favorite mathematical author. He has his Math Start series, where he has multiple books for just about every single math concept out there. And then what he does is he actually has three different, three different levels of books. And so this current one, it is a level two. And so what that means is he actually describes it on, he describes all three levels on the back. But level two books are perfect for introducing basic mathematical skills. And this, I would say that this book is really good for first through first and second grade. Third, it can be used in third. It would just kind of be like a spiral review of what they've learned in the previous grades. But this is a really good one for when you are introducing the concept of fractions. One of the things that I like about it is that it's really, it's kind of silly and it gets kids laughing. So this is a story about two siblings who are about to eat lunch and they are going to split a yummy pizza. And so as they are having their lunch, they realize that fractions can help them decide how they should divide their pizza to eat lunch. This one's really funny. I promise I think that this one would get your kids laughing and is really good for introducing and practicing those beginning fractional concepts just to get students to understand what is a fraction, why do we need equal parts, and so much more. So I highly recommend Give Me Half by Stuart J. Murphy. The second book I'm gonna share is called If You Were a Fraction, and this one is a really fun one to kind of tie in writing with as well. So if you were a fraction, you would be part of a whole. You could be part of a pizza or part of a pie. And so the story goes on and shares illustrations using different real life fractional concepts. Showing you some examples here. And then throughout the story, like this one says, Joey juggles three green balls, two balls fall. Joey has dropped two thirds of the balls. And so then you can see in the illustrations how it models that example within the story. And so this one talks about halves, thirds, fourths. You can see how in this illustration they are using windows to represent fractional parts and so forth. And so then at the end of the book, it, it asks, you know, if you were a fraction, what would you be? And I think that that would be a really fun writing activity that you could tie into and you could have kids write in their math journal about if they were a fraction, what would they be? And then this one's fun. At the end of the book, there is a fun recipe for kids to make their own pizza and then they could divide it into different fractional parts as well. So this is another really fun one. 
The next book that I am going to show you, you can buy in a print copy, but if you are a Kindle Unlimited user, so Kindle Unlimited is a service offered through Amazon. You pay, um, I think I'm paying like $9 a month for it, but you get access to literally like thousands of different books. I'm an avid reader, so I use Kindle Unlimited all the time, but I recently discovered that they have children's books. And I loved this when I was in the classroom because a lot of times if I couldn't find a book that I needed or maybe like our library didn't have it or something like that, a lot of times I would just be like, oh, like I need that. And I would buy like the e-version of it and I could download it onto my teacher iPad. Well, then I started learning that some books are available on Kindle Unlimited. So I was able to find two different fraction books as part of um, the Kindle Unlimited subscription. So um, if you're looking for more information on Kindle Unlimited, I'm going to put a link in the description below as well for you to be able to check that out. But this one is probably one of my favorites. It's called Holy Cow Fractions Are Fun. So throughout the story, it talks about these silly cows and then gives fractional concepts along the way. So it says one whole cow was eating ice cream, two scoops of chocolate and a third of mint dream. And then down here at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but it says, what fraction of the ice cream is chocolate? What fraction of the ice cream is mint dream? So then maybe as you're reading, maybe kids have whiteboards or they could just answer the questions aloud. So um, this one says, one whole cow balanced on a peg. One got a little klutzy and hurt one leg. What fraction of the leg is not hurt? What fraction of the leg is hurt? And so forth. So it just goes on and it gives several different funny, silly scenarios. And what um, I would do is like, so this one says, one whole cow had a fish named Fred who painted six spots on the cow's back red. And so the question says, what fraction of the spots are red? What fraction of the spots are blue? So then you could give your kids a picture of a blank cow and you could have them dot or paint or draw or color red and blue spots on the cow and then they could write about the fractional parts to relate to the story. And then the fourth book I am gonna share, you, share with you, I'm really excited about. You guys, did you know that Cinderella had a twin? She did. Her name was Twin Dorella. And this story is written by Corey Schwartz. He is the author that wrote Three Ninja Pigs. And so Twin Dorella is a fractioned fairy tale about two twin sisters that decide to split the housework that they have to do and they divide it in half. And so I wouldn't use this story necessarily to introduce fractional concepts, but this is just a fun one to relate fractional concepts to. And so the whole story has twice the magic and double the fun. And what is fun about it is because there's two of them, but they only meet one prince. So they have to decide and use fractions to decide who gets the prince. So like I said, this is a fun one to just kind of relate to fractions rather than introducing and reinforcing fractional concepts. So there you have it. There are four books that you can use to introduce and reinforce fractions during your math block. If you are looking for more fraction read alouds, I actually have a list of a lot more, way more than I could share with you in this video. So in the description, there is a link to my blog post that shares more books about fractions, as well as a link to my Amazon storefront, where if you click on that link, it's going to take you to all the books featured in today's video and more, the books that are featured in the blog post. And it's going to take you to a link where you can see all of those on Amazon. Now, those links are affiliate links. What that means is that I earn a very small commission at no cost to you just by shopping through that link. So I hope that you found these helpful. I want to know out of the four books that I shared with you today, 
Which one would be your favorite or you most likely to use in your classroom? I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. As always, you guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe, because each week we come out with new weekly content that I cannot wait to share with you. So that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. You have a blessed one, and I will see you in the next video.